Really? What's up, Money Geeks, Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want us to talk about Robinhood, GameStop, and the Robinhood Exodus. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So guys, uh, last week and even part of this week has been crazy. A lot of things been going on. We, I mean, if you talk to any grandma on Facebook now, they'll tell you about two stocks, GameStop and AMC. They don't know anything about the stock market, but they know that those two stocks did something this, this past uh, week or so. Company that's really at the front of this is Robinhood because when this whole thing started, um, people were excited and trading and buying and selling these securities. And then at some point, as of last Thursday, Robinhood restricted the buying and selling of the securities. Other firms did restrict uh, the buying and selling, but I think Robinhood is really at the front of it because of what they've sold uh, they themselves to be to the public. They claim that they are the people that are taking uh, you know, an average person and exposing them to the stock market and removing all the barriers and all the fees that are associated with trading. So as a matter of fact, democratizing and investing. So that's what they say. But last Thursday, when they restricted uh, buying of GameStop, AMC, and a few other uh, securities, the CEO went on CNBC to defend his position. He said the, the decision to restrict the selling, the, to restrict the buying of the security had nothing to do with liquidity. He says the reason was because they wanted to protect their customers. So I'm thinking, protect your customers. Um, then I'm thinking, are you talking about us? Are we your customers? And then it dawned on me that we are really not Robin Hood's customers. If you know, you are just uh, the person that provides the information or data that Robin Hood used to sell to their customers. And their customers are the people on Wall Street. Because when, when you do, do trades on Robin Hood, they take your data and sell it to those people on Wall Street so they understand what's coming, what to expect, so they can make their own decision based on your data. You are not Robin Hood's customer. You are just somebody that goes out there to provide your data just like facebook facebook is a social media platform you're not a customer for facebook if you buy ads on facebook then you are a customer because facebook turns around and take information from people and then sell it to you so you can target people for advertising that is exactly what robin hood is doing but in this case they're doing it in the investing site so when he said that, I, I know I, I thought, okay, you're protecting your customers. That's fine. Sounds like you're trying to do this. And then last Sunday evening, he was on Clubhouse with Elon Musk interviewing him. And it was funny again, because when Moss pressed him and asked him like, hey, was there something shady going on when you guys restricted buying of those securities? It's like, no, there was nothing. It's just that our clearinghouse requested that we deposit some money because we didn't have enough money to meet those the buy of those securities. So I'm like, wow. I thought you said you guys had no liquidity issue. And now you're telling me that your clearinghouse um, requested some money. So let me show you guys uh, the re the, one of the things that got me uh, thinking here because I mean, I'm not the smartest uh, kid on the blog, but definitely not the dumbest. Let's take a look at the uh, Robin Hood. This is on Robin Hood's website, remember. If you look here, this is what Robin Hood says. They left Apex Clearing because they started Robin Hood Clearing. So they now they own their own clearing house. So when he says that they had problems with money from their clearinghouse. Like, so who is your clearinghouse? I thought Robin Hood owns their own clearinghouse. Again, guys, I'm not sophisticated enough to understand what's going on here, but something is not right. It's not adding up in my head. If somebody can, if you, if you're out there watching this video and you understand exactly what's going on, let me know because having your clearinghouse and telling people that your clearinghouse is asking you for to deposit money so you can meet the needs of the, the the trading that's happening in your platform. I don't understand it when you clearly own your own clearing house. So if you read here, here are some of the benefits. What does a clearing firm do? These are the things clearing firms, you know, they do clearing, they do settlement, and they do uh, uh, custody. All these things is Robin Hood said, we're leaving Apex Clearing because we want to take control of this and be in charge. So now you have Robin Hood, the, bro the, the brokerage firm, and Robin Hood, their 
clearing house so again guys i'm putting this out here so that you guys can actually see and understand what's going on so that is some uh, one thing that i see that uh robin hood i don't think the ceo uh is actually for coming in so i have serious issues with that now let's talk about uh gamestop the stock actually got up this morning and took a nose dive for obvious reason because i think people are starting to see that the game can we cannot win this game uh wall street controls um the rules of the game and they would win 98 percent of the time we can have this one instance where we actually beat them at their own game but 98 percent of the time wall street is going to win so people started taking profit in my personal opinion i think that's why the price of the stock um did stop pulling back so now a lot of people are so mad at robin hood and they are leaving robin hood so um i know you guys are looking around and it's like okay where can i move to go and continue trading a lot of options out there but uh, there's four things that i want you to consider before you choose which platform you want to go on if you do trade options I want you to consider that the platform that you choose allows you to trade options. If you do trade on margins, I want you to consider the platform that you're going that you want to move to to make sure that you have margin. If you do extended hours, make sure that the platform allows you to trade extended hours and also the frequency of trade. How many times can you trade a day? Because there's some certain platforms where like M1 Finance, you can only trade twice a day, 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. So that's it. But other uh, firms like Weibo, you have options, you have margin, you have extended hours trading, and you can trade as much as you want on this platform. And I'm actually an affiliate with Weibo, so uh, I'm going to put the link in the description below if you want to use them. I do get uh, from free stocks. You get free stocks as well if you use my link. And also, SoFi is another one that's been uh, on the list. Um, again, SoFi is in the process of going public. And so I like the platform. Again, if you are an investor, not a trader, I think SoFi is the the logical best one for you if you're a trader definitely we both so far would come out uh, on top and will be the best that you can possibly use so uh again robin hood has some major issues and um they need to address those issues i, I think robin hood colluded uh with wall street even though they claim that they don't they didn't collude with wall street again guys that's my personal observation because when i put one plus one together it's not coming out to be two. It's something is not right there because uh, I, I remember the CEO says one one thing on, on CNBC, go with Elon Musk and says another. How can you say they, you had issues, you had no issues with liquidity and then turn around and say you had issues with liquidity. Those, I mean, like it doesn't, it doesn't really, you know, make sense to me. So if so, again, somebody's out there that understands this better, please leave in the comment. Um, let me know exactly uh, what's going on because I don't think that, that makes sense. So that's uh, what I wanted to cover in this video. But again, uh, lastly, if you are, you know, holding any of these stocks, AMC, uh, GameStop, any of those, if you've already taken out your initial investment and you're just playing with house money, and then kudos to you. But if you haven't, please cut your losses and get out uh, because these are these stocks are not currently valued at what the price that they're trading at uh, you know where it's going to go at the end of the day the stock would go back to where it belongs at that price so again you you I mean we can just try to defy the odds for just a short amount of time but eventually truth would prevail those stocks will go back to where they actually belong so if you are in the stock right now and you are playing with house money I applaud you, but if you still have your initial investment in there, guys, I say take that and run away as fast as you can, and that would be my take on it again. If you're new to the channel, guys, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, if you're looking to get started with investing, Weibo has the promotion where if you sign up, you get four free stocks, links in the description below. And as always, guys, don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated.